Hello and welcome to this video uh, going through the uh, circuits higher tier questions. I forgot what they were then. Higher tier questions, uh, walking, talking, mock. Uh, we're looking at question five uh, in the pack of questions that you've been given. So the current in the circuit depends on the potential difference provided by the cells and the total resistance of the circuit. So V and R. Using the circuit, correct circuit symbols, draw a diagram to show how you would connect 1.5 volt cells together to give a potential difference of 6 volts. Okay, so this is, um, well, this is actually a very, very easy one I would suggest, but I've got a 1.5. So using circuit symbols, that's interesting, correct circuit symbols. So there's 1, 2, so it's 1.5. 1.5, that's a total of 3. 1.5, 4.5, that takes me up to a total of 4.5. And there we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4 bulbs in total. Gives me 4 times 1.5, gives me a total of 6 volts. Okay, so uh, it's worth 2 marks. I'm just trying to think how on earth. I mean, that, that's the answer. I suspect it's probably one mark for the circuit symbols, one mark for putting them in series like that. Make sure that they um, they go, so the positive is the uh, the tall skinny one, positive to negative, positive to negative. Because what you want to do is, if you can imagine here, the electrons um, come in this way, come into the positive side, and they're lifted up. They're given energy. So if you can imagine potential, we always think about a gravitational potential so let's imagine that this lifts them up 1.5 steps each so 1.5 steps then it goes to here lifts up another 1.5 then it goes here lifts up another 1.5 lifts up another 1.5 so the difference between here when they arrive is 0 1.5 then this goes up to 3 4.5 they leave on step 6 don't they okay on so 6 they gain 6 joules of energy each each coulomb of charge Figure 1 shows a circuit containing an 18 volt battery. Two resistors X and Y are connected in series. X has a resistance of 3 ohms. There is a current of 2 amps in X. Okay. Calculate the PD across X. It's worth 2 marks. Okay, so it's a calculate question. We're looking for the PD across X. Uh, what values do I know? I put my ruler somewhere. Where did I put it? Under there. That's there. Um, so what do I know? I'm just going to put a line down there. Uh, so I know that I want V is equal to I times R. Um, I know that I is equal to 2 amps. I know R is equal to 3 ohms. So 2 times 3 equals 6 volts. 6 volts. Okay, nothing um, particularly difficult there. Uh, calculate the potential difference across Y. Okay, so this one's a little trickier. Um, although, hopefully not. Um, so what we know, I'm just going write, to write that in. I know this is now 6 volts. 6 volts here. So that means, if I use the same model that we used earlier, we are just talking about the, the cells up there, 18 volts means that when electrons leave and the current the conventional current, we always talk about going around from positive to negative, so they leave here on with 18 lumps of energy each, and they must come back with zero, because the difference in this end and this end, they come in at zero, they lift up 18 steps to here, okay, so they get to here at 18. So here they've got 18, they can only lose energy in a component, and here they've got zero. But here I know they change, from they, they move a total of six steps, they lose six steps. So they arrive on 18, which means they must go down to 12, which means they must get to 12 here, and they must go to zero here, which means that must be a total of 12 volts. <coughs> so I know here that the potential difference must be 12 volts. And I also know that um, 6 plus 12 must equal 18. So calculate the PD across Y, well I know 18 volts in total, 6 volts across x, 
so it's 12 volts across y because we know that 12 plus 6 equals 18 12 volts there calculate the total resistance of x and y combined or x and y so uh, let's see what do we know about this we know that there is a total um, across both of them of 18 volts uh, and we know that there's a total current of 2 amps 2 amps 2 amps through these so what we don't know is we don't know the total resistance um, so let's imagine for a moment instead of that circuit up there we have this circuit here I'm just going to redraw it quickly as if I'm looking for the total resistance I want to Combine those two resistances together. So RT. Oops. So I'm going to go RT, and I know across RT there is a total of 18 volts, and I know there's a current going through it of 2 amps, uh, and I know that V is equal to I R, okay, which is the equation we use most often for this topic. So I know the potential difference is, so V is equal to 12 volts, I is equal to uh, 2 amps. So I'm going to pop those in there. If you like, I'm going to put a VT for total, IT for total, you don't have to. Um, 12 is equal to 2 times R, R is equal to 6. Total resistance of X and Y is Six ohms. That's because, sorry, goodness me, that didn't look right. Only because uh, I missed that, that was 18, not six. I'll quickly change that. 18 volts. Sorry, the total was 18 volts, wasn't it? Not 12. So two times that. The total is nine. There we go. Um, the reason I spotted that as being a mistake was I thought the total resistance was 6. That means the resistance of the first one was 3. That means this one would be the same resistance to give a total of 6. It's always worth sanity checking. Just checking, do your answers make sense? If this had been the same resistance as that, then there should have been the same potential difference across both. But there wasn't. Okay. So I'm expecting this one, the potential difference is greater here, so I'm expecting this resistance to be greater. In fact, I'm expecting the resistance of this one to be twice as big as the resistance of this one. So I'm expecting this to be 6 already. I could do that in my head, which means I'm expecting the total resistance to be uh, 9 ohms, which luckily it is. Okay, so um, even an experienced uh, physicist teacher um, can easily make mistakes sometimes. Uh, just keep an eye out. Okay, always sanity check and don't be scared to go back and check and go back over. Um, figure 2 shows a transformer. You may not have done transformers yet. Uh, don't worry if you haven't. I'll go through the answer anyway. Um, I don't think they come up in paper 1 anyway. An 18 volt battery could not be used as the input of a transformer. Explain why. Uh, well, we keep it and it's worth 2 marks, so I'm going to put 2 bullet points. Okay, so, um, so it couldn't be used as an input for a transformer because... Um, batteries, uh, batteries provide uh, direct current, transformers uh, only work for alternating current. And the reason that is, is because they need, so transformers need an alternating magnetic field to be induced, which requires 
AC, which is short for alternating current. The transformer is 100% efficient. Calculate the output current for the transformer shown in figure 2. 100% efficient means no wasted energy at all. Okay, doesn't mean it's good at its job, just means it, um, it, it doesn't give an, an idea about effectiveness, it just tells me it doesn't waste any energy. Okay, so that means the energy in equals the energy out. So I know from this I've got uh, power equals VI, so power in must equal power out. So power in, potential difference in, current in. And I know power in must equal power out if there's no energy lost at all. So from that, I know that. Uh, so power in equals power out equals V in I in must equal V out I out which means that the potential difference in is 18 times 2 must equal 12 times, and I don't know what the output current is, times I out. So I'm just going to um, do some maths before I work this out. But I might do actually, I'm running out of space, and I want more space, but I don't want to get marks dropped because I put equal signs over here. Uh, if I had written without just here, if I just written equals and then continue my calculations, that would be wrong because suddenly I'm saying that P out is equal to whatever it is as soon as I start rearranging. So if I put in a line down there, I'll just make absolutely sure I'm not going to lose marks because the examiner knows that these calculations are not necessarily uh, connected on the same line as these calculations here. So 18 times 2, which is 36, is equal to uh, 12I out. I out is equal to 36 divided by 12, which is equal to 3. So the answer is 3 amps. Okay, I hope that's useful. Um, take care, see you soon.